So we got off a little bit early today from work, which means we got some time to start the bags on the new 2022 BRZ. So happy that the BRZ is finally in my hands in the garage after what was around like a three to four month wait for this car to come in since we ordered it. Finally here guys, if you guys missed that video, be sure to check that out. We went up to Irvine Subaru and we picked up the BRZ, brought the FRS up there, uh, so it was a pretty sick video to make. Little update on the WRX, it is, as you can see, fully back to stock. So yeah, we did part it out and we are selling it very soon since we got the new BRZ right here. So it's very sad. I know a lot of you guys are gonna miss the car and are sad to see it go, but it was either the FRS or this one. Um, and then this one was just way too hard to let go. This one pretty much started my channel. You know, it's pretty much fully built, supercharged, bagged, wide body. So unfortunately we are getting rid of the WRX to make room for the BRZ. But guys, don't worry, we have a ton of things coming for this car. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of boxes of parts are right there, strictly dedicated to this car right here. It's crazy, man. I'm definitely gonna miss this car, not gonna lie. <laughs> Just like that guys, right here we have the Airlift 3P air suspension for the 2022 BRZ. Now ever since I bagged the Mustang that I used to have, first car that I ever bagged and um, I've just been spoiled ever since. <laughs> Literally put bags on the FRS right after, got the WRX, we put bags on that as well. It's just so convenient guys, like I've ran coilovers on the FRS before, literally broke this bumper, I wanna say at least five times which is ridiculous it's just so convenient guys like with the touch of a button you can literally go over anything you know with coilovers if you want to change your fitment you know you got to take the wheel off adjust it but with bags literally at the touch of a button you can adjust the car to however you like so it looks good it's convenient and it'll save your car in the long run from like breaking parts and stuff Like I showed you guys, we got the airlines right here, the wire harness, the compressor, the manifold, and the airlift controller. So today I really want to focus on wiring the whole car and uh, just getting these routed through the inside. Kind of like the boring stuff and I guess you can say the hardest part of the whole install. So for today that's my goal is to just get this stuff routed, get it out of the way. David and Kevin over at SUV Speed were so hyped that we got the 2022 BRZ. Asked me what I had planned for this car told them I wanted to bag it and they're like, yo, we have them in stock. So we got on it ASAP, picked up a kit from Subi Speed. Mentioned it a lot with the videos on the WX, but I do have a discount code with Subi Speed. Go ahead and put it on the screen right here. It's code Borges to save you guys 10% off majority of the parts on their website on either the Subi Speed website or the FT Speed website for the FRS and BRZ. So yeah, guys, 10% off saves you guys a little bit of money off of your order. I mean, if you spend like a thousand dollars on like an exhaust or whatever, that's literally like a hundred bucks. So massive shout out to Subi Speed for always coming through. And uh, without further ado, let's just go and start working on this thing. Alright guys, I always love laying out the wiring because I'm honestly not a big wiring guy, not gonna lie. But as far as bags, it looks like really complicated, but it's pretty simple. Red goes to the positive on the battery. Black goes to the negative on the battery. This plugs into the controller, which is right here. The pink wire goes to the fuse box. Pretty much route it throughout the interior when it comes to the back. Go to the back. This plug right here plugs right into the manifold. Now the black and red wire right here goes straight to the compressor as you can see right here this you pretty much just drill right into your car as a ground so we just put a self tap through there and that's pretty much it guys all four air lines from each wheel all plug directly into these holes right here
Guys, here we are with day two of the bag install on the new 2022 BRZ. Kind of got my station set up right here for the trunk setup. Yesterday, as you guys saw, we worked on the wiring of the whole car. And last night, I pretty much got it all buttoned up and tucked under all the plastic trim. So I went ahead and put all the plastic pieces back. Yeah, pretty much all routes under this plastic piece right here. Then under the back seat, and that goes to the trunk area, which I haven't worked on yet, but we'll get to that today. Five minutes or less. Alright guys, as you can tell, it is freaking dark out. Really do not like this whole daylight savings thing when it gets dark at like 4 p.m. But anyways, we're working with it right now. We got some lights right here. Fronts are done. Uh, we hooked up the front struts. Got the airline hooked up as well. I know it's hard to see, but it's right here. Got the struts in. As you guys saw, we did a whole bunch of hammering um, on the inner strut tower because these cars are known for rubbing on the bag if you run too much camber. So I just went ahead and got that taken care of. Fronts are good. Uh, moving on to the rears. So we have the rear struts right here. Since we are taking the whole rear suspension apart, I actually got some lower control arms as well as some toe arms for the BRZ. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw these on while we are working on the rear suspension. So we got some Cusco lower control arms and some Varus slash FT86 tow arms from Subi Speed. So just like the bags, we got these parts from Subi Speed. I'll go ahead and have all the links down in the description below. But yeah, same ones that we were running on the WRX before, as well as the same tow arms. Pretty much a whole rear suspension is going into the car right now, and it's gonna look so sick. I know it's really dark out, so we brought out the LED, but yeah, it's time to take off all these stock parts and uh, finish this car up. It is 8.15 right now, so we've been at it for about, I wanna say five hours or so. We just did the whole wiring situation under the trunk. So we got everything coming from behind the back seat. Got it nicely tucked along the side. Pretty much just put the manifold just sitting in this little like cubby thing. It's kind of different from the first gen. I know the first gen comes with a spare tire, but for the gen two, it's not the case. So it actually comes with this huge styrofoam little storage compartment, whatever you want to call it. It actually comes with a tire pump. So that's what actually sits right here. This is like a perfect spot for the manifold. So I went ahead and put it right here. It literally fits perfect. Made some cuts on the side of the styrofoam as well as right there. So we can feed the air lines as well as the wire through um, the styrofoam. And then it just comes neatly to the manifold. It's pretty nice and simple, honestly. Um, I'm pretty content with this whole trunk setup. It's, it's nothing crazy, you know, people do like hard lines and like crazy trunk setups, but I just wanted something that's pretty clean. Honestly, pretty proud of how it came out so far. Spent a lot of time trying to do this. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm really happy with how it's coming out. All that's left to do is just drill down the tank to the floor mat and uh, put the trim pieces back, should be good to go. I still have to connect it to the battery as well, so that's pretty much gonna be the last step. But yeah guys, back BRZ very soon.
Alright guys, we are officially done with the bag install on the BRZ. It's been a long three days, but I'm so happy that we're finally done. Once I start it, this thing should turn on, so hopefully it does. Right. There you go. Oh snap. I'm gonna go and start it, I don't even know. Oh shoot! <laughs> Yo, it works! I'm gonna start the car, because it's been sitting. Let's go! It's on! Right now, we're gonna go ahead and calibrate the system so it's not calibrated. Is the vehicle on a level surface? Yup. Oh shoot. What in the world? So we are now in calibration mode right now. It's gonna be bouncing up and down, doing a whole bunch of things. Yeah, it's checking the front right now. Guys, I can't believe it, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, it looks so much better lowered. I'm so freaking hyped, guys. Dude, we are finally bagged. All right, guys, first air out. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. My gosh, this is insane. Dude, this thing is dumped. <laughs> now it's on 17, so when I put 18s on, it's gonna look much lower, but. Oh my gosh, guys. So much better that it's lowered. I need an alignment bad. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally driving straight. Look at the wheel. My like stability control lights turned on and everything. My toe is so off in the rear because of the new arms. Well, here it is, guys. The bagged BRZ. I definitely want to go much lower. Um, I think the front's definitely got to go lower. And the rears, but the rears, the toe is off and the camera is off, so the alignment should fix the rears, but once we throw wheels on the car, definitely going to lower the front much more. We actually have the wheels in the garage, so we're ready to go on that. We're just waiting on the tires, but now looking at it, it looks static. <laughs> it's not low enough, but it's all good. We'll do some adjusting soon. I just want to get this video out for you guys to show you guys. Just let me know down in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the new 2022 BRZ? That's pretty much going to do it for today's video. When you guys are watching this, this is actually the day of that I'm going to be uploading this. So I'm about to, so I'm about to head home right now, finish editing this vlog because I really want to get it out to you guys. Like I said, we got a ton of adjusting to do um, and we got tires and wheels on the way. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, the first mod for the new 2022 BRZ. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. But yeah, I gotta go and get started on this editing. So I'm gonna go ahead and head home. If you guys are new to the channel and wanna see more content with this BRZ, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, guys, with that being said, I hope you all have a good one today. Make it a good one. I'll catch y'all later.